impromptu teardown time, guys. We've got the uh, Pico Scope 5000 series, and we've got Daniel on camera. <laughs> and, yeah, why not? We're here at the Amona stand, and uh, we thought we'd rip this sucker apart and have a look. Should have put my good mic on that camera, so it's probably going to be crap audio. Sorry about that. But, uh, I couldn't. I normally I'd have my Swiss Army knife in my pocket, but uh, coming on the plane, I'm not allowed to bring it since 9/11. And uh, I'm sure Pico won't mind me taking apart this scope. Actually, this screwdriver is having a hard time fitting. And this is a 16-bit. Uh, converter um, it's got uh, adjustable resolution from 8 bits to 16 bits here we go and hopefully it should be pretty easy to take apart no hang on ah oh, it's not a Phillips it's one of those bloody annoying posi posi screw posi drive whatever you call it and just get in there got it got it got it we're in all right we're in like flynn i was about to say that <laughs> oh hang on this is tricky okay we've got rubber hey, no that's no, coming it's coming ta-da there we go. John's going to be a bit upset if I break it. Yeah. Oh, jeez, we've got an audience. No, got... breaking. <laughs> oh my God. Right, we've got the arse end of the board. Got credit card to cover that. We've got the bottom of the board. There we go. They've got uh, so dual side populator. They've got some shield in, surface mount shield in, Pico branded. Look at that. Wow, that's fancy pantsy. And uh, is that the main oscillator down there? 10 megahertz? That looks like it would be. And uh, yeah, all right. So obviously we've got a four front. This is a four channel. Yep, four channel scope with external trigger. And uh, can't see any converter. We've got a BGA package there. You can see the see the via footprint on the bottom. And uh, bit of flux residue on the hand soldering they haven't cleaned that so on the BNC is the hand soldered stuff down there and uh, the DC power jack on the back that's uh, but there's no shielding on that they clearly don't need it they're uh, just happy with the shielding on their front end I thought this would be quite trivial I thought the top plastic cover would just pop off Maybe it's not possible. Maybe I've got to unscrew the board. But now we're getting serious. Which means I have to take the front and back panels off. I'm trying not to break the tabs. That's the... That's the thing. I might have it. These things went deep into the plastic. And maybe... Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Actually, let me put this back. Like that. And then we'll flip that out and we're in ta-da oh they get cans they've got cans on the front end love heart shaped cans and love heart shaped they are look at that <laughs> is that deliberate what have they done that for so why have they got and there look at those bnc's maybe they knew you'd be opening it <laughs> check out the bnc's oh they haven't seen look they're rounded look at those they've got sexy little rounded ends on the back of them that's unusual where do they get those from ah spartan 6 fpga there you go so yeah it's got some dram hooked on there and i don't know i'd have to get my macro lens out to look at the individual converters but uh, obviously got the trigger stuff around here there's a reed relay yeah you know i'm pretty sure there are some 3d microscopes we and there are plenty of 3d <laughs> microscopes around here we could take it over to the uh that would be interesting wouldn't it we could take it over and uh have a look how about we do that
We're heading off to find a microscope. I think we should be able to find one in the train. Let's have a look. So I could get my macro lens out, but that's not nearly as much fun. So here we go. Oh, found one. Oh, what? No, no I, I, I really like this one here. All right, all right. This one's sexy. <laughs> can we? You can, you can buy it. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> this one is great. This one is, check out this. This is from a company called Tagano. Tagano. And it's a uh, 40, for, uh, 40 times zoom. And I've got foot pedal down here, which allows me to zoom in and out on that. And that's 40 times, 40 times zoom. Look at that. Fantastic. And I can tilt this too. Hang on. It will autofocus and come back. Supposedly. Hang on. I might have to turn the... <laughs> oh, there we go. It's too much. Oh, there we go. It's too bright. So that will... There we go, and uh, we can have a look at the main chip. So what we've got, oh hang on, here we go. I'll tell you what I think's on here at first pass. I, oh, I got my pointer here. Ha, ah, look at this, this is great. It's a HDMI output uh, by the way, and the working distance, check out the working distance on this. It's, that's like 250 millimeters or something like that. Crazy, do you know what's the 250? 250, I'll oh, spot on. There you go, good guess. All right, so <laughs> 250 millimeters, and uh, we've got a Spartan 6 FPGA. Uh, we don't have enough light, maybe. Can we? Oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful, well done. All right, first time I've used this. All right, so we've got ourselves a Spartan 6 FPGA with memory next to it, and obviously. This is the ADC because you can see four, it's a four channel unit, so you can see four differential amps, I'm guessing. So there are four amps, and that's, what number is that? Turned around the right way. It's ASD5020, so there's no manufacturer on that. But, uh, well, we can, oh, there we go. <laughs> zoom in. <laughs> you don't have to zoom in. It's, no, uh, there you go. Good. So that's the, I presume that's the main ADC. So, and I love these foot pedals, you can just operate. This is great. So, yeah, I'm assuming four amps coming out, or four uh, drivers for the uh, ADC drivers. Unfortunately, we can't get under the cans because they're all, uh, they're soldered on. But uh, that's a bit of a bummer. Don't know what it's doing with the uh, love heart shaped uh, cutouts there because there's no adjustment pots underneath those so go figure but uh, for those playing along at home we have a Spartan 6 XC6 S LX25 and there's an E squared prom and what do we got here Cypress CY uh, not sure oh, that'd be the uh, USB driver I'm assuming dead giveaway when the uh, traces come out and uh, go into your USB there and there's our power supply from our DC input oh, loving this microscope I mean look at the zoom we can get on this this is ridiculous 250 millimeters working distance and 40 times zoom and the depth of field is pretty good too so very impressed by this more power supply around here that's all your trigger stuff. They've got a TX DAC. There we go. So that's setting your trigger level. Oh, or is this uh, one of those? No, this is a uh, signal gen. This is a this model unit actually has a signal gen. So we've got an AD 9744 TX DAC generator, and uh, there's our output buffer amp there. LT. What else? Yeah. Nothing doing there, that's your external trigger, so that'll be like a comparator, something like that. More comparators in there, there's probably another DAC. And, uh, oh, that's it. Nothing else left. Unfortunately, we can't get inside the cans, but uh, there you go. That's just an impromptu teardown.
back over here, Daniel. The impromptu teardown of the uh, Pico Scope 5443B. Beauty. Catch you next time. And yes, I'm back home from the trade show and I thought I'd check out this ASD 5020 uh, ADC that we found in this Pico Scope 5000. And this is what I love about teardowns you get to often find uh, companies and chips you didn't know exist before and in this case um check it out asd arctic silicon devices i can't say i've ever uh, heard of them before and this is a preliminary product specification i found this data sheet from uh, mousa it was the first link actually that uh, popped up so um but i can't actually find the part on mouser but the data sheet is on there and i can't find any other suppliers so i dug a bit uh i also uh googled where is it here we go um hittite microwave corporation actually back in 2011 so uh, like a couple of years back actually acquired arctic silicon devices a high performance mixed signal ic company for 12 million bucks in cash and equity um, and it provides Hittite new IC design and verification capability, state-of-the-art product line of analog to digital converters. There you go. Who knew? They uh, successfully designed and launched innovative multifunction low-power ADC products which target high-performance specifications, including, ta-da, test and measurement systems and communications infrastructure. Fantastic. So there you go. That's what we've got here. We've got ourselves... Um, this ASD5020, I'm not sure if you can still buy it. I need to dig a bit deeper. But yeah, sure enough, it's got this uh, multi-mode uh, converter, 12-bit mode, uh, 600 single-channel mode, dual or quad, of course. The sample rate seems to uh, drop, of course, uh, based because it's a multiplexed um, analog-to-digital converter. But 12-bit mode there and 8-bit mode there, single-channel mode up to... Uh, a thousand meg samples per second in single channel 8-bit mode so pretty darn impressive little chip only draws uh, uh half a watt at 640 meg samples per second only well i you know that sounds pretty darn good to me um integrated cross point switches instantaneous switching internal low jitter programmable clock divider uh oh, internal reference circuitry course and fine gain control so there you go digital fine gain adjustment for each adc very nice little chip runs off a one point eight volt uh, supply utilizing time interleave to increase uh, sampling rate integrated cross point switches dual channel mode Whew. excellent i like it based on proprietary structure and employs internal reference circuitry serial control lvds output data blah 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 is designed to interface easily with full programmable fpgas from several vendors there you go I really like it. The precision oscilloscopes, ta-da, no kidding, ultrasound, all sorts of applications like that. So I'll uh, include the link um, down below if you want to uh, check out the data sheet in depth. But uh, you can get a precision mode one, which is 14-bit uh, up to 105 meg samples per second, the HS type or the PM type. And you'll notice, of course, that uh, there is no 16-bit option here. That is because um, it's actually a 12-bit uh, uh, converter and to get the higher resolutions, for example, like to get all oh, 14-bit. So to get the uh, uh, greater resolution, they have to actually uh, multiplex the channels together. So if you want the full 16-bit resolution, uh, your four-channel scope becomes a one-channel scope. And if you want 15-bit resolution, um, you can only use uh, two channels, for example. So but uh, that is, uh, you know, the flexibility of this thing that allows you to do that. You just uh, tie the things together with this uh, cross point uh, MUX array on the input. And you're able to uh, do all this and the, the FPGA can uh, handle it and give you um, the desired resolution result. But even with utilizing that uh, interleave sampling on the input channels, this thing is still capable of uh, 500 uh, meg samples per second at a full 12 bit. So still a very impressive scope. If we look at the data sheet for the uh, 5000 series, which is not a new uh, product, uh, by the way, then, um, you know, it talks about things like uh, combined with that segmented memory allows you to capture events in rapid sequence. So full segmented memory capability at the fastest time base, you can use rapid triggering there to collect 10,000 waveforms in under 20 milliseconds. And it's got mask limit uh, testing as well. I'm not sure if that's done in hardware or that's done in the uh, PicoScope 
uh, software, by the way. But uh, still, it's quite a versatile and uh, powerful little um, USB scope. I really like it. And that's one of the advantages of a USB uh Generally speaking, a USB scope over a PC scope is that they're generally going to give you, in this case, much greater resolution than you would get on a traditional bench scope. In this case, up to 16 bits. And it's got a pretty uh, impressive amount of uh, buffer memory down here. I mean, you know, we're talking up to 120, up to five, some models up to 512 uh, meg samples for 8 bit and uh, 256 meg samples for uh, greater than. Uh, 12 bits, so that's uh, pretty darn impressive. Um, I'm not sure if you can uh, continuously uh, stream this data at a slower rate over USB. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I haven't looked into the uh, details, but often that's one of the advantages of the uh, USB um, scope is that you can stream directly to the PC and essentially have unlimited uh, memory noise uh, down here, even though we weren't able to take a look at the front end. 8-bit mode, 120 microvolts RMS, down at the uh, 16 bit mode they're claiming 70 microvolts RMS noise level and interestingly if we have a look at the uh, Hittite uh, website microwave corporation yeah they've got uh, you know they've got a ton of stuff um, absolute ton of it but uh, down here well they have data converters there we go AD uh, Sees and once again their feature pipeline architecture results from 8 to 14 bits so they still sort of carry these converters but if you have a look at uh, their offerings down here, the 5020 doesn't seem to be available. I mean, look, 14-bit quad, it's the 1520 now. But, uh, yeah, they've changed the numbering system. It's now the HM CAD 1520. So the chip is still available. And uh, yes, I checked the date code on the video there, and you would have already noticed that if you're paying attention. Uh, yeah, this... The scope I actually uh, tore down at the trade show, there was actually a three-year-old uh, demo unit. So there you go, uh, 2010. That's why it has the old chip. So presumably the new one uh, that uh, Pico Scope would sell would use the new uh, Hittite uh, branded and this particular part number. But uh, pretty much it's it looks to be the identical chip. They've just integrated that uh line of chips into the Hittite uh, numbering system and stuff like that. So there you go. It was Arctic Silicon Devices. No longer. And that's the thing you've got to be careful of as a uh, designer. When you're designing something like this, if you use, you know, this is quite a novel uh, chip. I really liked it. But, you know, Arctic Silicon Devices, they got bought out for $12 million. They're not exactly a huge player in the ADC uh, market. They never were. So the risk was when uh, Hittite bought them out they might have you know consolidated some of the product ranges and discontinued um the asd 5020 and pico scope would have been left up the proverbial creek without a paddle they would have had to uh either discontinue the product or find uh some way or some other equivalent chip which i greatly doubt the amount of uh, re-engineering i mean this product was obviously with the flexible sampling architecture was pretty much uh you know designed and modeled around the availability of this chip from Arctic uh, Silicon Devices. I don't think anyone else probably has anything to uh, match it on the market. So, yeah, if Hittite uh, decided to dis dis discontinue the chip, PigoScope would have been uh, faced with usually a uh, last buy uh, order. Usually they don't just suddenly discontinue the chip. Sorry, they'll put out a notice saying, look, we're, you know, here's the last buy coming up. Uh, we'll only make the chip for one more uh, lot. Give us your maximum number you want to buy, and then that'll be it. So uh, if they did do that, PicoScope would have had to went, well, we're either going to buy a million of these things. I mean, how many of these scopes are we going to uh, sell over the next years? Or um, they would have done that um, to a certain number to keep it going for a while. Or, but ultimately, uh, they would have had to either discontinue it or really um, uh, seriously re-engineer this thing from scratch, which really would have been a dog. So... There you go. Um, that was rather interesting. I hope you enjoyed that little impromptu uh, teardown. Sorry about the uh, lack of audio and video quality and uh, completeness, as would have been in a normal teardown. But that was an impromptu one. Right at the last minute, decided, oh, we're here. Why not? Shoot a teardown. Yeah. Catch you next time.